Hi guys, my family and I are traveling to Mexico tomorrow and I constantly get questions on how to prepare for a trip with your little ones when you go on vacation. Um, today I thought would be the perfect opportunity to kind of record the entire process of me packing for myself as well as for my little ones. So I'm going to go through each and um, every step of the way and hopefully you learn something new. start with myself and then we'll head over upstairs where my kids um, bedrooms are and we'll go over all the things that I pack for my little ones. Say hi to Kaylee. Hi. Kaylee's my assistant. She practically lives with me. Pretty much. We're, we're working on that but we haven't made a decision just yet. Um, and then what Kaylee's doing is um, for those that are new to my channel, I own a clothing line called By Grace, which is my name. Um, it is a women's clothing line, and I went a little shopping yesterday in my office and got a bunch of outfits that I wanted to bring with me. The weather in Mexico is supposed to be, what, 85 or so degrees? Yeah. It's supposed to be nice and warm, um, and I picked some pretty summer, summery colors, um, light, long dresses, you know, anything kind of summery and vacation-y stuff. And then I prepared also my suitcase, which is what I usually start with. I first pick which suitcase I'm bringing. I lay it out flat on the floor, and then you're gonna think that this is pretty crazy because it's a little bit anal. But then I start with, I make a list. So, here's a long list. I'm a totally a to-do kind of girl. Like, I love writing everything down, checking it off, marking it away. So. Before I go on any trips, and I do this for any trip, whether it's a vacation with family or whether it's on my own, whether it's a five day thing or two weeks or just even two days, it just gives me clarity and I like not missing anything or not leaving anything out. So what I do is I put together a list of things that I want to pack. So for this trip, it is a seven day trip to Mexico. So I typically count like how many day outfits, how many nighttime outfits, and then including my travel. So. It's like a little equation, but so we're going to do a Thursday travel outfit and then Thursday nighttime outfit because we get there around 1 p.m. So I will likely change into just my swimsuit and go to the pool, but then I'll need a nighttime outfit. So then I counted everything and we need basically five day outfits while there, two travel outfits and then six nighttime outfits. Again, it looks a little bit anal, sounds a little bit crazy or like a little bit too much. But personally, it really helps me. So I know that some people are more of the type that they just pack, 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 you know, and then decide then kind of what they want to wear. I'm more of a, on Monday I'll wear this, on Tuesday I'll wear this. Um, sometimes I do end up, you know, switching days because it depends on my mood, but for the most part, I never really bring anything more. Um, and my thought process is if I need something, then I count on maybe find something there. If that's not a possibility for you, then I would definitely recommend like maybe bring in two extra outfits just in case for whatever reason, like maybe you, you know, you got some stains on one or whatever the case may be. So basically we're going to be starting with the outfits. So I need, I usually do the travel outfits last. So I typically go with like, what am I actually going to wear there? So I'm going to do the five day outfits right now. And then also the six nighttime outfits. So I haven't quite decided which exact outfits I'm going to bring. Um, I pulled some from the By Grace collection that I pulled at the office. I've picked some that are, you know, folded right here, and then the rest is over here somewhere. If I decide that, you know, um, those outfits are not enough and I need more. So um, so far I have one of the skirts, which I'll show you. It's kind of cute. It's um, it's like a maxi skirt. I thought it would be really cute to wear with a bikini top maybe, but also like turn it into a nighttime outfit if needed and then just throw on like a cute top. I don't usually repeat my outfits, but um, I figured this could work really well either night or day outfit. So I pulled this one. I also pulled an Esmeralda romper from By Grace. Um, this is so nicely folded, I don't wanna open it. <laughs> but this is one of our um, collar dresses in cream, also from By Grace. Because it's a vacation trip and it's by the water and it's just kind of tropical, it doesn't really matter if the outfits are day outfits or nighttime outfits because it's pretty much all the same. 
So I can totally wear any of these with a bikini underneath or I can wear them at night with you know, a pair of heels if I wanted to or just flats. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna go through all the dresses. Definitely this for during the day. It's a cute little maxi dress. And then, and I know it's gonna look crazy. I already know it. But when I pick an outfit, I typically just, what do you call this thing in, in English? Oh, uh, tally marks. Yeah, tally marks. Okay, so that's, I have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. Definitely this whole uh, nighttime gorgeous color so I'm going for super like bright colors can we oh, I got it I'll just cut off the tag oh, I can take these off. Sweet. and then usually once I pick the outfits then I work um, towards the shoes and then the accessories bags and things like that because we're going by the beach I don't want to do too much in terms of shoes I used to in terms of shoes and bags so I'm gonna go for something that's more universal and goes with everything so my goal is to only have like three pairs of shoes, but that's probably not going to happen. Okay, so there's another one. Okay, definitely this. Don't cut them all off yet because I'm not sure if I will bring them all. So I'm trying to think. I think this could totally be cute with like a pair of jeans, not jeans, jean shorts. Jean shorts. Yeah. yeah. I think this would be so cute. I can totally see this on my feed. I'm really getting into this whole like Instagram aesthetic thing for my light and airy. Light and airy. Hashtag light and airy. That's a whole motto right now for this month. Everybody at the office, every time I say that thing, it's like everyone just laughs. Okay, so I just need jean shorts. Are they all yeah. or more jewel? Alright. They go cute. You can never have enough jean shorts. I feel like when you go on vacation, it's just these are definitely cute. They're yeah. very similar, but one is going more high waisted. Yeah, I think it goes with the one shows your butt. Okay, these are girlfriend, and these are Zara. These are like two hundred, and those are like thirty. You usually stick with like those though, and they're literally like the same. Am I tripping? Oh my god. Okay, I'm taking both. All right, three shorts is good. Okay, we need one more. Do I need white? Maybe white. These are cute. Yeah. The frame, we just need to kind of get rid of these. What is that? Is that from laundry? No, no. We used to have like, didn't we used to have like the chiffon like covers and stuff? Do you know how many times we've been through this closet? What's this? I want this. Ooh, that's cute. I bought that and that is sure the tag totally. That. Yeah, that has a tag on it. What the fuck? Did I really spend that? Yeah, because that was a brand new one. And okay. I've never worn it. Okay, well, I'm wearing it in my Mexico. Do you want this one? Definitely need to bring We'll make it work. I need to bring this. Or do you want the silver shoes? Let's see. Let's think. But you should definitely take that. Definitely want this. I'm going to look at some of the stuff I need to bring. This is like one of my favorite mm -hmm. bodysuits ever, but it's pretty much sold out. So I can do that. Um, ooh, I feel like I should bring one of the Ivana's. You brought your white. black one? You brought your black one? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna bring my white one. I literally took my white one out last night at 12 o'clock. We're going to restock these. These are our number one bestsellers, no matter what we ever come up with. They come in black, white, pink, and we're gonna release other colors soon. Oh, and red. Yeah. But these are amazing. And they can be worn as a swimsuit, which is pretty cool. Okay. Definitely that. Too much i've got my bikinis okay so when it comes to my bikinis you put them in those little baggies like this 
to keep them organized and then when you're done with them you know you let them dry and then we put them back into these little baggies so that's that and then i'm going to start off with my jean shorts because i know i'm going to bring all of this oh i do want some regular t-shirts like things i can just kind of throw on or anything like say i want to go downstairs to the lobby to pick something up but i don't feel like wearing any of my outfits and i'm like a bikini and don't want to go in a bikini i just need some cute little t-shirts so i'm gonna grab some cute tees my by grace t-shirts are my go-to they're like the softest t-shirts ever got a cute little v-neck no matter how many times i wash them nothing ever happens they are bomb like they're like they feel so soft. So I'm going to do that for one of the things. Probably should do two of those just so I have so many. Like, look, I kid you not. Like, I, they're, they're life. And whoever, like, I don't bring another body suit. Whoever has bought them says the same thing. And then I'll probably do just a black one too, just so that I can kind of have my grounds covered. So that would be all on that. Let me double check. Have it all. Should I do gray or should I do black? Mm, black it is. Okay, so I'm gonna start putting some of this in my suitcase. I typically do a first layer of clothing and then shoes, then more clothes, then bags, and then more clothes on top of that. That way there's enough cushion for the shoes and the bags. Put all my toiletries, um, my undergarments, you know, underwears and such. Here's where I put all the clothes, clothes and shoes. And this is for when I travel and I have like, you know, dirty socks, dirty underwear, everything. We just kind of put it in a zipper pocket thing. I've seen somewhere that a lot of people fold or roll their clothes like this to make a lot more room, which that makes sense. So if you have time, that would be really cool because it's just all nice and you know compact. But I don't have time to do that, so I let mine super flat. Like this and then like this. There we go. So I try to create basically a nice first layer of clothing so that if I put shoes. Um, it's not so close to the you know, edge of the suitcase and that way it's not going to get damaged if it just, you know, if they mishandle it or throw it around or things like that. Okay. What else we got? You should do this with the Dolce & Gabbana bag and the Dolce & Gabbana shirts. <gasps> Bingo. The red ones? Yeah. With the red bag. The Dolce & Gabbana red bag. Okay, but like... As long as I can wear that again with another outfit. because You I'm can wear the shoes <gasps> I can with wear the shorts. These. Shorts on what? Look, wait, anything. We can figure it oh, out. Oh, I definitely. So then we can put some of these because I know that I don't need to. Let me think. Let me see. Okay, so should we put maybe flip flops next? Yep, I have a whole box. A whole box? No, we're only going to bring like. Well, no, do you want to pick from the box? Yeah. Like, do you want the Valentino ones? Kaylee and I have practically the same shoe size. Yes. So. She has the same. Oh, yes. Definitely these. They're so comfortable. No, but if you want them, you can have them. Like if you want to wear them. Because I don't want to wear too many, like, sparkly, sparkly, woo woo, wah wah. These are cute, though. You want shorts? To bring? Yeah. Okay, bring those. We'll bring these. And then. Let me see what else. We've got these. I think I will bring the new Chanel bag. I thought you were because of the flippers on the beach and it matches the pink ones. So do you want to take a pair of these out and put the pink ones on? No, I definitely want these. These are the cutest things ever. Yeah. Look how cute they are. These are cute. But I think if I bring these, then you should take those so you can wear the black ones. Huh. Don't you have black ones anyway? The pink ones. Pink ones, okay. Alright, so then I think these, because it goes with the bag. But does it go with any of my bikinis? Um, I think if I match the, the bag, then we'll go. So then we'll do these, these, 
Oh my god. I'm gonna end up with 10 pairs of shoes. There's so much though. Like, this can't be light. Damn shit. Oh, what about these Chanel ones? Probably forgot about those, yeah. Okay, then we're gonna have to narrow it down. These are cute. Well, you're gonna take 10 pairs. I can throw some in mine. Okay, well, these you're taking. Okay. We decided that. I definitely want these. Actually, wait. No, I do want those. But I feel like I should bring these too because. Like for nighttime, I don't want to wear heel heels, you know. I just wear like little cute little. Yeah, I, I would totally take those. These go with all my bikinis. I would take those over the fishnet ones. I'm not gonna take the fishnet ones. I'll just take these. They go with my. Yeah, they go with the bag. Jean shorts. They, oh, am I bringing my bag? Yeah. Oh yeah. We're not really helping anybody right no, now. We're not. <laughs> okay. Well, for those that don't know, I have a shoe addiction, a very bad shoe addiction. So shoes is where I get stuck the most when it comes to packing. Like I just want to bring them all. You want to bring all the shoes and I'm all with the bag. I'm totally bringing that bag. Are you, that Are you kidding me? I went through I'm hell to get that bag. bag. Isn't it's it? It's so cute. And I'm obsessed with this one. But is it too much to bring that, that, and the Chanel bag? Oh, it's not. But then uh, you're wanting me to bring the other one for... Which one? The Dolce Gabbana one. I thought we need to pick one of these two. Yeah. Do that one for the but, but yeah. this one goes with a lot of this one goes with this and you it goes can with do all that my with the bikinis. shoes. You're right. I'll just do this. Are you taking these two? Huh? Yes. I love those. I live yeah, for I'm those. With them too, so I'm probably gonna take this. I already knew it. I knew it. Okay, wait, let's think. Hold on. If I bring this bag, does this bag go? Okay, we're, we said we're gonna bring the other one though, right? Yep. For that? Yep. So we're gonna bring one bag just for one outfit? Yeah. We better be a bomb ass picture, is all I know. Yeah. This one goes with that. Yep. This could be like going to the pool bag? Or just that one going to the pool? Okay, then that one goes with that. That bag is small enough though, you can pack it within another bag and it will be okay. I feel like I need a white bag too, no? Or should I not bring white on? vacation like the white what type okay. of no okay there's an accident right now okay accidents waiting to happen got it between you and my husband we're all just dying okay this one obviously okay does it go with this no this goes with the chanel got you can it. do the red one with that one though too okay true it's just huge. Side track, but look how bomb. Yeah, no shit. Sure so okay, well then I definitely need the brown bag for this. We, yeah. Or it could go with this. No, that's just too many things happening. Too many things. Huge, but I love it. Pretty. Yeah, because then that brown can go with this, right? Yeah. Definitely. They're gonna be like, this bitch has no other shoes. Nope, I'm sure don't. I'm literally wearing the same two pairs. This one I can wear with just any flip-flops and jeans. It's cute. <gasps> okay, this. I need this. Could you not do that Dolce & Gabbana one with that? Oh, I can do these ones. The brown shoes are cute with this, but I feel like it needs a pop. It needs like... What can I wear with this? I feel what like about white. the Aqua Zara red shoes? And then you could do the Dolce & Gabbana bag with the red. I feel like it might be a little too... A little too bright. Like the ones with the ties, with mm -hmm. the little fringes. Or I can do this. That's super cute. Right? Yeah, do those. Yeah. And these are do easy those. to like. These are easy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is it. Okay, what bag? Who gives a fuck about a bag, right? I can just do this without a bag. Yeah. Right? Because I'll have a bag, so I can just do this with me. But do I have a bag if I were not to be on vacation for this? The white Chanel. Or I don't have a silver bag. Or the blue Chanel. Ooh. I'm not bringing one, but I'm not bringing a yeah, bag no, for that. But, but okay, this is good. You need one more. That's perfect. Okay. And then those go with everything. So really, we're only doing. Wait, this goes back. We're only doing two heels. No, three pairs of heels. That's not bad. I'm doing good. Yeah, I'm just like, I got this. 
we're not gonna have a Bora Bora moment. Oh my God, you guys. Seven years ago, I went to Bora Bora with my husband. I wish I was kidding, but I was there for seven days and I literally brought like 15 pairs of shoes. Heels, not shoes, heels. And lined them all up and wore not a single one, not even one, not one. I feel like I should bring the, the Dolce & Gabbana ones though. Oh uh, yeah. But the silver or the red? I feel like it should be the red. I feel like it should be the red just because it goes with the bag. Like you bought the shoes. And I have and this with red. I've got this, which will be orange. Do you yeah. know what I mean? I got this, which you can wear. I've got this, which you can wear. Definitely the red ones. Okay, red. Let's do red. Those we'll do shoes that. were like the best thing we bought that entire trip. Well, and the silver ones. Yeah, like both of those, that whole like. And I'll wear it with that. Yeah, I think so. But not silver, right? We don't need silver. Because no, I have silver the, the other ones. Those. Yeah, because you wore the silver ones not that long ago. Okay, so then. Where's the white shoes? Yeah. Oh. So then, do I need both of these? I feel like I should bring just the nude ones. Yeah. Right? Save the white ones. That was, I don't make the white ones dirty with sand and all. These are just more... Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I think so. They give you more versatility compared to the white ones. I mean, I love the white ones. I do too. They are so cute. Okay, I'll just do these. You'll be all right without me. I'll be missing you very dearly. I'm sorry. Okay, well, what about these? No. Could you wear it with a green dress? No. But I could wear it with like jeans and a top if I wanted to be. But then I can do it with this. No. Okay. Just sorry. Sorry to do this to you. Okay, so we've got one, two, and then those red shoes, right? Yep. And then, okay, it's not bad. And can you do me a favor, Kaylin? Can you grab those red shoes and that yep. way I can just pack the shoes next? Sorry. <laughs> I was really supposed to help you guys pack and just be very organized and, you know, like bam, 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 get it out, get it done. But the shoes part, is what takes me the longest. But once the shoes are done, then it's just like easy. Just all flows. Things I can't forget is hat. I need a hat. So I need hat, sunglasses. Those are musts. Hat and sunglasses. Got the rest of the stuff. Sticky. Oh, underwear. Hmm. That's important. Underwear and do I need do I have anything to wear a bra with? Like do I have any outfits? No. I'll wear this. I'll bring these little stickies. You got my you got my workout outfits? Yeah. Sweet, what'd you get? Just the shorts and the shorts are perfect. Perfect. I've got those. Could you have the shoes? Yeah, I'll yeah. wear those. Yeah. So they would yeah, work. Yep, I can work out in those. I'm good to go. Should I bring this red one to my bikini? We have that bikini for every day. I think the reason we didn't was because we didn't have bottoms. But we, it goes with the bottoms of um, the yellow ones. That's why. And you could wear it with that white skirt okay, you guys, too, Look at how random TSA check is. Hmm. Just so you know how random they are. Everything Tell me go. how random exactly are they. Because I travel with my husband and Jeremy Schaefer never gets pulled. <laughs> but me, all the time. Okay. Um, we've got bikinis. We've got the, the bikini covers, we've got the flip-flops, we've got the bags. Oh, did my jewelry come today? There's those three jewelries that I ordered? No, not yet. Okay, so we need those. The we need hat. Three-piece jewelry. I put hat and I also put sunglasses. Do I have my Gucci sunglasses that I always do? 
They're in the car that Jeremy has right now. What about the- we never found the movies I can't on find them, so... They're in a bag somewhere. I've looked in every bag in this closet They're and They're in the all the cars. Then have- have, uh, Crystal look in my office. It has to be somewhere. They're somewhere. They were in the car, I think. Yeah. I've looked, though, like, right I before we took it in. Okay. So, we need my jewelry that's coming. We've got more swimsuits coming, so I'll put that in there. More swimsuit coming, just in case I like them. Wow, I do not understand my own handwriting on this, so let me rewrite. Hat. Glasses. Swimsuit. And underwear. Jewelry. Underwear I'm about to get right now, which I need this. I need this. I don't need a bra. And I just need these. Can you take the tags off of these? Um, I think so. Yeah, I think I do. Why do they make these? Like, who wants to walk around with this? Were there any nude ones? No. Okay, I've got some from before. All right, I uh, got my underwear. Pajama. <gasps> Who am I kidding? I'm fucking wear clothes, but okay. Just throw on a bear. Just to have. There you go. It's gonna be my that and maybe just a slip-on dress. Right there. Very cute. Bye, Grace. This is cute. Okay, we got pajamas. Like, I am in such good shape right now. We're good. Yeah, because Jeremy will pack. I just need to do my toiletries, but I can maybe do that last. Let's head upstairs and do the kids. Let's do that. show you everything that we put in there so you can kind of see things that we you know go for when it comes to traveling for little ones um similar to my packing style which is kind of making the list of all the amounts of outfits that we need for like day and night um with kids it's not as important to like you know differentiate between day and night but we do kind of want to keep track of how many outfits we need and then add like an extra what like three or four if we need it yeah on top of that so that we can kind of give ourselves some room in case a certain outfit gets you know dirty which with little ones it always happens so um we know that we needed about 11 outfits or so so we probably packed about 15 correct me if i'm wrong kaylee yeah. kaylee picked all of her outfits so as you can tell it's very pink in here um so they're all nicely folded with kids clothing is really easy because they're just like so little so you could just like kind of fold them and it looks all petite and then we did socks and underwear, just the basics pretty much of like everyday clothing. And then we do things that are, you know, some of the most important parts, like this one is a leave-in conditioner. The reason why is because my kids have um, weird textured hair where it's like not straight and it's not fully curly. Um, Ivy has the one that has the most curls right now. So this really helps, especially with the, you know, salty water and the chlorine in the, in the pool kind of helps keep her hair nice and curly and then we've got her diapers she still wears diapers at night um so we have that i'll pull this to the side i can show you we've got her sun hat 
also um we also swim have shirt. her yes her swim shirt because she is redhead so um she doesn't have as much pigment on her skin as my boys do so she usually tends to get burnt rather than tan so we want to protect her and then we've got this which is amazing i don't know if you guys have little kids who are you know swimming or you know just like not at the age yet where they can learn how to swim like ivy is just gonna start swimming classes this summer so she's still quite young but this kind of floaty or whatever you call this like a what is called pretty strong floaties floaties um they're amazing like i've tested them on all three of my kids i use them with all three they're amazing like my boys love these and so does ivy but basically you put it in the front and then put your arms through this and it keeps them nice and afloat. What is the brand of this? Do we know? Amazon? Yeah, true. You can get them at Amazon, Costco, Walmart. Right here, Puddle, Puddle Jumper. Yeah. That's what I think they're... I don't know if this is the same brand, but it's the same concept. Yeah. But it's, yeah, it'll give you the weight and, you know, kind of like the size and the age and things like that. And I think they're folded like this. They're very light. Kids love them. So we're definitely bringing this and we're also bringing one for Charlie just in case because last year is when he really started to like learn how to swim but I don't know if like because it's been so long that I don't know if he will be able to just get right on it. Sometimes he gets a little scared and you know. Um, we've got her bottles because my daughter still at night likes her bottle. And then we've got, are these called like alcohol wipes? Yeah. Over there? Yeah. Alcohol wipes. Just in case, hand sanitizers, um, her brush, then we've got her goggles, we've got toothbrushes, her croc shoes, um, sun, what is it, sunscreen, sunblock. yep, sunblock, and then we also have her sunglasses. These are Charlie's sunglasses, but she had her shoes here. Yeah. Oh, wow. sweet. More goggles, yes. sunglasses. Yep. And he, they love their little glasses. It's so it's the cute thing ever. Yeah, let me just pull like this. And, and then, oh, um, we give our kids Miralax. It's completely natural, but um, all three of my kids have had issues like pooping, especially on vacation. I don't know if it's like a change in diet or what not. Maybe like lack of drinking consistent water. But um, we bring it with us and we basically just pour it in like every day in one cup of water or juice or chocolate milk or milk so i think it's gonna be enough yeah okay. it says I mean, 14, I big one, but... 14 once daily doses that gives us seven days for two kids so it'll give us like yeah that's fine i think we're okay okay we just have the toothbrushes So yeah, that pretty much kind of sounds, oh, and then this is the most important one, which is um, our medicine as well as, you know, the shampoo and body wash. Um, usually for kids, shampoo and body wash is all in one, like the same thing, uh, but definitely bring medicine because you just never know. So we always bring ibuprofen or Tylenol um, and then barrier cream in case they get a rash for any sort, for any reason, the syringe for the medicine. Um, lip balm, my kids get chopped lips like me. And then, what is it, swim ear, this is great, swim ear, because they're gonna be in the water so much. And I think that covers all of it, yeah. So it's not that much, it's just a lot of little small things that you know you don't necessarily think of. Um, and then, oh, um, what is it called? Is this called like a temperature thingy, what is it called? Thermometer. Thermometer. <laughs> A thermometer would be great too, just so you can kind of, you know, most hotels do have them, but just to have your things covered. So yeah, so just to kind of sum it up, sanitizers, alcohol wipes, diapers, um, wipes, Miralax, in our Little case. Little jackets, uh, even if it's hot. Yes, jackets to uh, layer over, even if it is hot. She's right, like sometimes, um, well, one on a plane I always have one, no matter what. I also always bring a blanket, um, but then, uh, a hat for sure, floaty for, you know, swimming if necessary, a swim shirt over, um, and then just your toiletries such as your brush, your shampoo, body wash, barrier cream, and, you know, um, medicine. So those are the number one things that you want to 
bring toothbrush and all that you want to bring for your little one. Um, if you have really, really young ones, I would highly recommend some sort of a baby carrier because it's very important. I actually have found myself the strollers are not as great or not as easy or not as convenient to travel with than it is the actual carriers. Um, there's one in particular I use a lot and I think it was called Sakura Boom. They're like silk, mm -hmm. they're silk carriers. Kaylee actually used those as well a lot when I first had Ivy because she stayed at home with Ivy a lot, but they're amazing, so. Alrighty, well that kind of sums up. I made a list of everything before we put everything in. Do we, should we put a blanket? I have one in her bag. Everyone has a blanket. Everyone has a jacket. Sweet. I was prepared. Love it.